Hey guys, some stupid sketch show guy here with another video. Now this video is going to be covering the new 2020 Collecte releases. Now, this isn't all the releases, but this is the first four. And from what I can tell, I think Collecte is going to hold off on their best figures for later. Because for now, we've gotten four figures, and they're not bad. Let's start with the first one. So the first one is a Protoceratops. Now, from what it, I can tell, it's a 1-6 scale figure that's pushing on about a foot long and about 4.5 inches in height from what everything dinosaurs' measurements are suggesting. So I have a feeling that it's going to be quite a out-of-scale figure, kind of like the Beast of the Mesozoic Protoceratops. And I'm not a big fan of this big figure idea. I would have rather had this be a small standard figure. But on the bright side, we do get an articulated jaw, and the articulated jaw looks really good. And so does the colors. Although, a big critique of the colors is that they are the exact same as the Collecti Baryonyx. And speaking of the Collecti Baryonyx, let's just get to him out of the way. This. I don't like this. This is not... This is not what we needed. I am perfectly fine with the Collecte Deluxe Baryonyx. So, why did we need this? This looks like one of those mini figure lines. This doesn't look like... I don't know, something like that. But now back to the bright side. So, the main herbivore they have of these four figures is the Fuquisaurus, which is meant to be deluxe, but... Coming from the size, it's not deluxe at all. It's about five and a half inches long. So... It's really not going to be that big. But when it comes to colors, I like this. I really do like what they have done with this dinosaur. I like the open mouth. And while the colors could also be similar to the Collective Baryonyx, at least they're a slightly more faded shade. And they have a nice gray belly. So they're slightly different, but Collective, please think of a new color scheme. Like, I get it. I like this color scheme. But don't use it so many times. Like, come on. Three of your four figures have the exact same color scheme. Like, come on! But, on the bright side, it's not a bad color scheme. I like the polka dots, and I like all this. I think it's a good figure, and I might consider buying it. I probably won't, though, because while it's a good figure, there are just way too many figures that I want from this year, and being such a small figure, it's gonna be unlikely that I'll get this thing as soon as it comes out, but you never know. Just know that I like it. And last but certainly not least, you have the Microraptor. Now, unfortunately, the Microraptor is going to be stuck in this pose, no articulated jaw like the Protoceratops. But the real concern is that this thing is a 1-6 scale figure, so it's going to be quite big. Like, it's about 4.7 inches tall. It's even taller and slightly shorter than the Collected Protoceratops. So both of them, while are good figures on their own and look good on their own, they are quite oversized and I think are not at the appropriate scale that they should. They really should have been scaled down, honestly. Because, like, the Safari Microraptor, for example, is, like, half the size. So I'm like, come on. Like, why did you have to resize this? Why did you have to size it? Does it be this big? Is there really any benefit to that? No. So, I know I bring up size a lot, but I think size is honestly an important part of playability with this figure. Because no matter how good a figure is, if it's size too big or too small, it kind of just ruins the whole thing. Because then you can't compare it or play with it with other figures, you know? So, that's kind of why I'm making a big fuss out of this. Because this, these four figures, while being very flawed... They're the best things we've got all year. Safari has disappointed by being bland and repetitive, and I guess you could say the same thing about this, but at least Collecte has something more to offer. It's not just gonna be these four figures. At least Collecte has, like, one or even two more, like, rows of figures that they can introduce. And Schleich, don't even get me started. So, while Collecte's... Um, four figures they've released are not at that much better than the Safari 2020 figures. I have a really strong feeling that what Collecte is going to release later on and reveal later on has a lot of potential because this is a nice slow start and I have a feeling things are going to pick up, which I hope is true. Let's just hope that they don't disappoint us. Because I am very scared that 2020 could be one of the worst years when it comes to dinosaur figures. Because Safari and Schleich has disappointed me. And Collect Day, they haven't disappointed me yet. But this could just be a prolonged disappointment. You never know. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Sorry if I rambled on a little bit. 
And, uh, hope you guys enjoy the, these figures. And, uh, put down your opinions of these figures down in the comment section below. I'd like to hear them. And see you guys next time. Bye.